In this video, we'll take a look how to power up your camera and how to initialize it. You'll have to initialize your camera before you can log in and to make any changes. To get started, you'll have to power up your camera. There are several ways that you can choose to do this. You either can use a PoE NVR, connect your Ethernet cable back to the PoE NVR, and that's the simplest way. You also can use a PoE switch to power the camera. Once you plug in the PoE switch, you'll plug your NVR into the back of the PoE switch. You also can use the wall plug and plug it in. Either way, after it's all plugged in, you have to be able to connect to the camera. Once you have it powered up, you can connect your camera directly to your computer. If you're going into your network, you can plug it into your switch. And then you can plug your computer into the switch and you'll be able to initialize your camera. Before you begin initializing your camera, it's a good idea to know your network information. To do that, we'll get some numbers from our network and write them down. The easiest way is to come to your command prompt in your search bar, type CMD, press enter. You can type ipconfig slash all, press enter. If you scroll up, you can see that it shows us what our IP address is. And here we are on 192.168.1, the IP address of 154. It also tells me my default gateway. 192.168.1.1 as we will use them when we set up our camera IP addresses. Once we have our camera powered up, we need to initialize the camera to be able to communicate with it. To connect directly, what we'll do is we'll bring up a web browser, we'll type the default address into the camera, which is 192.168.1.108 and press enter. You only will be able to connect directly like this if your LAN address is the same as the default segment of the camera. You can see it wants us to select our region and it will default to English language and NTSC video standard. We'll press next We'll have to agree to the terms and conditions. We can select our how we want our time set up. I like to do the month, day, and year. We'll select our time zone. I'll sync with my PC for the time. Press next. I'll set a new password. And I also can select an email address if I'd like to be able to reset the password. I'll leave P2P enabled which will allow me to put this camera on my DMSS app with the QR code. I'll uncheck the auto updates and you can see that I am successfully initialized. Now I'm able to log in to the camera Now we'll take a look at how to initialize a camera if our LAN address that we looked up in the command prompt is different from the segment of the camera. We can use the config tool to change the segment address of the camera to match our LAN address. The config tool is a free download and easy to use. Just keep in mind that you have to have the password in the search string the same as the camera you're trying to edit. I'll bring up the command prompt. I'll do IP config. When I scroll up, you'll now see that we are on a different segment. This is 192.168.0.1 is our gateway. If you remember, our camera's default IP address is 192.168.1.108. So you can see the third octet is different. We need to make these the same so we can communicate with the cameras. To do that, 
what we'll have to do is bring up a config tool. This config tool lets you change the IP address of the camera without having to physically be logged into the camera. So we can see that we already have our camera initialized, but it is on a different segment. We need to match it up to the one that our LAN is on. To do that, first we have to go to the search setting and change the password that we set the camera as. We can go over to the edit button on our camera and type in what target IP address that we would like. In this case, we'll do 192.168.0 and then again we can randomly select an IP address as long as it's not being used elsewhere by another device on the network. For sample purpose, I will add a 200. The subnet and the gateway. I'll give it a minute. Once I refresh, you can see that the IP address now shows up. And it is on a different segment of .0.200. If I click the web, you can see I can now log into the camera. Take note when you're changing the IP address of your cameras, only one IP address can be assigned to each device on a network.